dinner. It's hot. It's hot everywhere. It's hot here. It's hot there. It's hot everywhere. And it is Sunday. And it's still hot. It's been hot for the last week. We have uh, heat index readings here of 110 degrees. My air conditioner isn't stopping. I have my internal thermostat in my house set at 80 degrees and it feels delightful compared to what it is outside because the humidity is so unbearable outside. So for dinner tonight I'm going to go to one of my old standbys that my mom used to make when I was growing up in Tucson when the monsoons would make the afternoons completely unbearable and we call it cold platter. And Rick's going to pan over here. This is what uh, some of the things that we sometimes like to put on our cold platter. Um, and we make this in the summertime because who wants to heat up the kitchen? Who wants to make the air conditioner work even harder? It's too hot to barbecue. It's too hot to barbecue. <laughs> no, I don't even want him to go stand outside and do that. But we're going to put some lunch meats. And mostly, my mom used to make this with tuna or egg salad and always served it with pita pockets. And we have some uh, assortment of vegetables that have been pulled out of the, the garden. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these together. I also, um, my grocery store had an assortment of breads on sale, buy one, get one free, really good bakery breads. So um, we have a variety of breads and everybody can come fix their own on a paper plate. And then when everything is finished and everybody's full, we can just wrap the platter up and put it in the fridge and then they can eat it tomorrow for lunch and that's all the work you had to do and you didn't have to heat up your kitchen and it was simple and easy and this is also a really good way to clean out your refrigerator so you know go through your drawers in the refrigerator go through your pantry if you like tuna in oil mix that up any way you like make some egg salad whatever you like I am boiling some eggs over here um, because Hard-boiled eggs are an excellent thing to have on hand in the fridge, especially when it's hot outside, because it's a quick, nutritious, and easy meal, and eggs are cheap. You can do a lot with eggs. You can make egg salad. You can make sliced egg sandwiches. You can just eat a hard-boiled egg. You can make deviled eggs. And if you're a little ambitious and dinner time is rolling around and you want to cook something, you can make hot eggs with hollandaise sauce or bernaise sauce you take those hard cooked eggs and you slice them, you put them on a piece of toast, you lay some, uh, you ladle some bird sauce over the top, and that's a really nice meal that's quick and easy and cheap. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wait for my eggs to boil, I'm gonna put my, um, I've got all my stuff together, when I come back, I'll put the platter together with you so you can see how I do it, and then we'll fix your plate, because I know you're probably hungry. So I'll stick around, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, I think I have everything ready to go to make our platter. So, you don't have to be this fancy. You can just cut everything up, put it out on separate plates, and ha let your family have at it. You know what? You can even put it in refrigerator containers and set it out, and that way when you're done with supper, all you have to do is put the lids on it, and you're good to go, put it away. So, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start by laying some lettuce down. Now, in our house, we do have an impasse when it comes to lettuce. Rick enjoys iceberg lettuce, and I enjoy the romaine lettuce. So we're going to have both. That's how we fix that. Not a problem. Just everybody has their own preference. So I'll put some iceberg down at this end. I'll put some romaine done at this end and this is all clean so no worries and then I'll put some in the middle so we can put our tuna on that okay now I'm just gonna put our tuna and yes I'm gonna use my hands because this is for my family when you cook at your house, you use your hands. You don't use rubber gloves. And um, I think that you understand that. I thought you watched him yesterday. I saw her. Yeah, he saw me. Okay. And then I have, I just have a variety of lunch meat that I'm going to put out. 
I've got some turkey and some maple ham, some chicken breast. I have some Genoa salami. Is this the buffalo or the other stuff? I didn't put that one out because that one I bought for you and that yeah. was there just wasn't a whole lot. And I'm going to put some provolone cheese out. And then what I may do is I may just leave the veggies out separately since it looks like my plate is kind of getting full. Whoa! One of them went bad. Whoops! And I have some cherry tomatoes here that are out of my garden, and some olives. This is also really nice um, if you're going to have some pe people over for lunch or um, even in this weather if you're going to have people over for dinner. This is a nice thing you can throw together because a lot of this stuff you may already have in your house. I mean almost everybody I know keeps some tuna in their house for real. So make some tuna, throw some lettuce down. Like I said I hard cook some eggs. And you can choose to make egg salad. And really the only, the only heat it took was to uh, hard cook those eggs and that's really no big deal. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Those are Rick's favorite. And I just went to the olive bar at my deli. And um, I like the Kalamata olives. So there's a couple of those in there and there's some of these stuffed pepidus. And they're stuffed with a piece of mozzarella that's wrapped up in some prosciutto. And these pepidu peppers, if you've never tried those, oh my goodness, you are in for a treat. And like I said, you can put anything you like on this platter. It doesn't have to be what I put on mine. And my platter's full, so we're going to just clean it up and go with that. We're going to put it off to the side here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to put my other things around the platter. I have some sliced cucumber, some bell pepper, some sweet um, banana peppers, some green onions. There's a couple of sliced tomatoes out of my garden. And here's a handful of um, snap peas. Now, there's no peas. There's no peas, yes. Now, what we like to do, and I'm going to just grab a paper plate here that I had um, I had my hard boiled eggs on. So I'm going to fix you a plate how we would normally, uh, I'll fix you what I would make for myself. I'm going to grab a pita pocket and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut that much off the top. And then I'm just going to set this on the side, is how I'm going to do it. Make a good party platter too, because people can just stand around and graze on it. Right. Exactly. I'm going to have a little bit of tuna fish. I'm going to have a hard cooked egg, a piece of ham, a piece of chicken, a couple of pieces of this lovely salami. I'm going to have one of these peppers and some of these great olives some cucumber and you can get the dressing out of your fridge and you can make yourself a little salad here with the lettuce and the tomato now that is dinner you didn't have to go to a whole lot of effort your kitchen didn't get hot and you're not gonna get so full that you feel miserable after this meal because one of those things about it being so hot is you just don't want to eat until you feel like you're going to blow up. You're also not going to walk away hungry. That's right. You're going to feel full and satisfied. But this time of year when it's so hot outside you just can't stand it, eating light is the key as well as keeping yourself hydrated and cool. We always have lots and lots of unsweet tea on hand and lots of ice water. You have to make sure that you drink enough. You have to make sure that you get enough nutrition. This cold platter is an excellent answer to that. And don't forget your pets either. And don't forget your pets. 
my pets have been hanging out in my kitchen all the time when it's been as hot outside. And we always make sure that we have fresh water outside for them as well. So, I hope you try this and I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, stay cool and I'll see ya!